So, we journeyed up here to, we, well, let me start here. We came from Port Charlotte, which is where we live, and we came along this road here. And then we turned off just before, why did we turn off? I think we turned off here just before Black Rock. Oh, we might have turned up here. Ah, yeah, I think we turned up here. Both of them lead the same way, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and we came up here, which is like a, this uh, orange and white bit means it's kind of just a dirt track, basically. And then um, it's called Lot Great, I think. Probably not. And then we came up all the way up here and we came up to Ardnave, which is like this big um, estate with a farm. And we actually didn't get out of the car. Well, I got out of the car, it was freezing, and I, got, I very quickly got back in. Um, and you can see here that there's a chapel and a cross, which you'll see in the video very briefly. We didn't get out. Um, and it, it, it wasn't actually the best day, but it was it was really quite beautiful over here. And we didn't go, we didn't obviously get out of the car, but there is like chapel ruins up here on Nave Island. And there's a, this is a big nature reserve. There was lots of kind of different animals around, horses and lots of different birds and that type of thing. So yeah, that is where I am about to take you. Horses. They're just peeking. Just looking over the bushes. Up here now. Where my mummy is. Look where my mummy is. You see him? Yeah. You see him, babe? Yeah. Maybe if we carry on, Maybe we'll see them on the way back. Be a different vantage point. Yeah. Here we horses. That's a good viewpoint for a horse, isn't it? What's the horse's favourite TV program? Oh, this is 
this all be out. I'll be part of it. Oh look! <gasps> go back, go back. Yeah. Oh, so cute. Two baby reindeer. There's two of them, isn't there? Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? They have to be very, very slow when we go past, so we don't startle them. Very, very cold outside. There's no cucumber. No. It's so cold. What have we got, Daddy? Follow that round and then go all the way back to Port Wames. No, this must be just land up here. There's chapel ruins up here somewhere, though, mm. on one of these islands. Huh? I like having you sit in there. You finish your lunch. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> it's 
school tomorrow, everybody? Yeah. Mom, Mom you got the backpacks. Yeah, we'll, we'll get our backpacks, yeah. I need the wool to keep warm. She's very wee. You see her bum? Yeah. It's like a little cotton tail. Her mummy must be around somewhere. It's one of the ones that was in the earlier, so the other one must be about almost bum. Mummy's more. Daddy's safe. Nice. Nah, he's hiding. He just went and jumped behind the bush. It's okay. We'll see him next time. Maybe next time he won't be shy. They're having their picnics like we did.
Oh, that is a lot of hiccups. What's in your house, B? You tell me. You show me around your birdhouse. A birdie nest. Oh dear. And what's this here? Oh, okay. And what's this up here? What's this for? This bit. Yeah, and um, do you show me yours, Noah? What's yours like? Uh, a tent. You made a tent and a nest. You made a bird's nest. And a stick. That's very clever. And my red I'm. Oh wow! It's got a tray in it for easy cleaning. You've been recycling again. Yeah. Because it got four spots and, and the other nest flew away. Oh, your bed doesn't have a spot. Yeah. Oh, I think Noah has a spotty bed. Yeah, spotty bed. But you have the star bed, don't you? Yeah. Noah, I think that's just fabulous. Because it looks like a tent because it got this in colour. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. And I got big old white sickle for this. And this is a mirror thing down here. This is a top thing. Mommy, my soft that there. Oh, very soft, yeah. Yes, like a nest. Like a nest. Like a nest. And that's a, and that's a tent. And a tent. And got decorations. Wow. And And a spotty bear. Oh. And this is a kid's bedroom. Wow. It's very impressive. Don't pull, Noah. No. You don't want to break it. Oh. You could put your cars in that, Noah, couldn't you? Yeah. And what about my dolls? Well, you could put dolls in yours. So you have a good day at school?
Good morning, Patreons. It's Friday. It's about quarter to eleven, I think. We have just well, firstly, I'm sat here in this huge scarf with a hot cup of tea because we have just had our oil tank changed over. We had um, a, a leak in our oil tank and it was like leaking oil very slowly into the garden. So we've just had that tank changed over finally, but um, Gleamer, who supply people's tanks with oil, have gone to the Isle of Jura, which is the little island next to us. It's a hop and a skip away. You go uh, a, a mini ferry, not one of those big Calmac ferries. So they've gone there. So I've not got any oil and it's pretty cold. <laughs> it's pretty cold. Luckily Elizabeth Ruth is in bed so she'll be all, she's asleep, she'll be all warm and snuggly. Shug, shush, quiet. So hopefully they're going to get to me, you know, relatively fast. They put me on urgent so I'm really hoping that, that I get oil today. The guy who fitted it said have you got heaters and things so that you know you're okay and I was like no I don't have any heaters I, I I'm waiting you know I'm, I'm pretty dependent on this oil anyway it's the island way it doesn't surprise me things get done on island time you just have to be patient yeah so I wanted to come on today and firstly say a, a pretty big thank you for being here and supporting me through a little bit of cash every month. I know it's not really the best time in the, you know, across the globe to be asking people for, for um, a little bit of cash. I had Patreon in the works for quite some time and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna go for it. And, you know, I've got, I think there's 11 of you. There's 11 of you, which is, you know, pretty good going I'm pretty chuffed with that so firstly I wanted to say that it is it is really wonderful I know that a couple of um quite a large portion of you are, are really long-standing Island Wife Hebrides um patrons you are the people who have always been the biggest cheerleaders who read the blog who always leave encouraging comments and you share it on social media and and it it really is just a wonderful thing so you know thank you some of you are a little bit newer and I hope that you guys turn into into those long-standing uh, supporters as well so a big thank you it's hard to convey it through a camera secondly I wanted to just talk a little bit about where I'm kind of going with Patreon and what I'm thinking. So I did come to Patreon p pretty blind in that nobody really knows what it is. So it's very hard to push and Instagram and Facebook don't um, really like you to pay for, um, what's the word, advertising. So if you mention like keywords, if you've got a business account and this type of thing, they're really hot on kind of dampening and crushing the posts that you put out unless you pay them this is really annoying so every time I put something with patreon in it Instagram and Facebook flag it up and they would like me to pay for advertising to to get that out there so that's where sharing things is so so important not just for me for lots of small businesses because it you know it's a it's a little it's a little bit of a hurrah for that person that they don't have to pay for for, for advertising to Facebook and Instagram and and all these bigger companies. So I did come come at it pretty blind. It is quite difficult. It's quite hard to push for that reason. Um, one of the one of the changes that we I with Chris are thinking of making is that you get more for your cash in terms of video content. So right now I'm trying to split what goes onto social media and what goes onto Patreon 
and it's quite challenging. So we were thinking of putting a, like a really big line down the middle and saying Patreon gets all the video content and um, you know, <laughs> I'm just laughing at Shug, he's like falling asleep. And social media accounts just get little snippets and things like that, but the bulk of it goes on to Patreon for you guys who pay to support. So I've currently got five tiers, there'll only be four. It's a bit funny talking about tiers when you're in Great Britain right now. Anyway, tried to get those tiers out of your head. So if you are in the first tier, which is the simple thank you, you currently don't get that much apart from we bonus little bits here and there. The, your main stuff is on social media and just saying, you know, hey, thanks. So what I'm thinking of doing is that you guys would get an exclusive monthly video. The next tier would get two exclusive monthly videos. The third tier would get three and the fourth tier would get all four. So, you know, you get one a week. That I, I'm quite excited about the idea. It would be really streamlined for me and I think it would be really fun for you guys because you're going to get a really good insight of our family, <laughs> which I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. And, um, you know, and, and island life. So I wouldn't make those changes for quite, you know, a, a couple more weeks or so, maybe a couple of months, um, just so I can plan it out on paper and I, and I, I can see it all. Currently Patreon has this big plan that's on a piece of paper. And, you know, if that's something that, you so that sounds really great, then, you know, just let me know and I would really, really appreciate that. So I'm going to sign off. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for being here. And, oh, I thought that was the Gleamer tank, but it's not, it's an aeroplane. Oh, rubbish. <laughs> I mean, you know what, that being said, I'm off. I'm gonna go make a hot water bottle.